Good morning, Kasumnas Oaks. I'm Danny Klinenberg. And I'm Lacey Douglas. Today is Tuesday, <laughs> September 25th, 2012. I hope you all are having a fabulous morning. Now let's move on over to some morning announcements. Homecoming is on October 6th from 8 to 11 p.m. Tickets are only $20, but students with ASB receive a $5 discount. Guest passes are available on the website and are due by October 3rd. Don't forget to come to the Presents Rally today after school. Make sure you're there to hear who received homecoming royalty. This rally is not mandatory, but we want you all to attend. The Powder Puff game is tonight. Uh, games will begin at 6. Admissions for the game is $5 at the gate, but students with an ASB card are admitted for free. This is a game that no one wants to miss. Attention freshmen, if you would like to participate in float building this week, please come to Mrs. Raisin's classroom in HN1 after school. Interact Club will meet tomorrow, September 26th from 315 to 345 in room HM6. We will be voting on an officer. Those of you who are interested in running must prepare a small speech before the voting process takes place. We will be voting on t-shirt color and designs as well. Just a heads up, the Career Center will be closed today. Now let's go on over to In the News and hear the latest update. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Karina Gonzalez. And I'm Mom to Sing, and I'm finally back. Here are your In the News announcements. Let's get started. A California company is recalling 76 types of peanut butter and almond butter after one of its products was linked to a salmonella outbreak at Trader Joe's Groceries. Sunland Incorporation recalled the products under multiple brand names after the Food and Drug Administration and the, Se and the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention linked 29 salmonella il illnesses in the 18 states of Trader Joe's Creamery Salted Valencia Peanut Butter. The company recalled the other peanut butter peanut and almond butters because they were manufactured with the same equipment as the Trader Joe's product. None of the other products have been linked to the illness. Trader Joe's recalled the Creamery Salted Valencia peanut butter from its stores on Saturdays. So stick to Skippy. A large study funded by the National Institutes of Health found this. If you eat a small amount of chocolate five days a week, you have a great possibility of a lower BMI even if the person ate more calories overall and exercised less. In fact, most of the myths about chocolate aren't proved medically to have the effects the myths portray chocolate to have. For example, any teen will tell you that chocolate causes acne, but studies going as far as in the 1960s don't show any relation between chocolate consumption and acne. So the moral of the story is, eat chocolate, but in portions. Well, that's all we have for today, Wolfpack. I'm Mom to Sing. And I'm Karina Gonzalez. Back, Back to, to you, anchors. anchors. Attention all juniors, your class shirts are in. You can pre-order your shirt any day this week for $15, and they will be available for pickup during homecoming week. Monday, October 1st, is the first day of Homecoming Week. Our homecoming theme this year is Let the Games Begin. The dress-up days are Monday, white tee and jeans, Tuesday, Twin Tuesday, Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday, and Thursday, Fitness Day. Friday, class colors, freshmen wearing gray, sophomores white, juniors orange, and seniors navy blue. Attention all seniors, Fright Fest, Fright Fest tickets are still on sale. There are only 30 seats left on the 6th bus, so get your tickets now. Danny, do you know anything about community service? No, I really don't know much, but let's hear from Mr. McDougall. 
Hey Wolfpack, I'm Karina Gonzalez and Mr. McDougall is going to answer some of your questions you all might have about community service. When you come in as a ninth grader, if you want to be honored as a senior, starting in ninth grade, you have to earn at least 20 hours of documented community service. If you're shooting for a cord and you want to be recognized at Power Balance Arena during graduation, then you're going to need to get to 200 hours. So if you think about it, that's 40 hours as a freshman, 40 hours as a sophomore, it's 60 hours as a junior and 60 hours as a senior. And that adds up to 200. Now. There's only one thing that confuses kids. What if you only got 20 your freshman, sophomore year, and you want to now, when you're a junior, senior, go for the 200? You can, but that means that you'll have to double up when you're a junior and senior to work your way to 200 hours. Only 50 total hours can be on campus. Please don't ask for more of your time to be counted on campus. The intent is to give you some on-campus hours, but mostly it should be things that you're doing in the community, at your church, at a hospital. One of the few things you get to note on your CSU or UC applications, which are done online, there are very few things you get to uh, put down on your behalf to make you a good candidate, but one of them is community service. But I wanted to make sure I was being clear about it. So that's this year's clarification. Start on your hours, get them documented properly. Freshmen and sophomores, at least do 20 so you're not out of the game when you're a junior. Thank you very much and have a great day. There was a volleyball game yesterday. JV lost 1-2, to two, while Varsity won 3-1. to one. Great job, ladies. See you at the poll is tomorrow. This event is a part of the Student Day of Prayer. Come join us at the flagpole at 7.50 to pray for our school. Attention all sophomores, juniors, and seniors. If you are interested in mentoring students who attend Elizabeth Pinkerton Middle School, then sign up for the Friday Night Live Mentoring Program. We are looking for students who want to make a difference in the lives of other students and help them make a smooth transition from middle school to high school. If you are interested, come and pick up an application from Ms. Ramos in room HL2. There is a mandatory academy pathway meeting for all visual and performing arts students who are in the academy or who wish to sign up. The meeting will take place on Wednesday, October 3rd in the Culinary Arts Building from 320 to 345 right after school. This includes students in Mr. Young's classes as well. Well, that is all we have for you today. I'm Danny Klinenberg. And I'm Lacey Douglas. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf. In the words of Dr. Seuss, be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't really mind. With that in mind, have a great day, Wolf Pack. <laughs>